just finished building it. It's 11 foot long. Took me a year. All built out of plywood, white oak framing. Marine plywood and sapile, mahogany replacement for the decking. It's a plan set from uh, Glen L. They made plans for the do-it-yourselfer in the 1950s. This is a 1950s design. It's called the Glen L Squirt. It's got beautiful lines. It's only small. It's a two-seater. Had to engineer a lot of stuff for it, including the steering system. These old steering systems used to be uh, pulley and cable, and so I, I got a Teleflex steering with it. I adapted a 1958 Impala reproduction steering wheel for it. Got the original Johnson controls. Chris Craft replica bracket set for the windshield. Windshield's modern Lexan, so it's safe. Kind of mimicked the 1956 or so Chevrolet interior for the for the padding, kind of making it look period. Painted seafoam green on the bottom. Uh, the sides are all mahogany veneer, made to look like wood plank. It's got a stainless steel rubber rail. Nineteen fifty-eight Johnson, eighteen horsepower vintage motor, completely rebuilt. I took two two motors to cobble this one together. Um, it runs great. I haven't put it in the water yet, but so far in a test tub, it works it works awesome. Brand new pistons, rings, um, completely rebuilt it. Don't have a name for it yet. When I do get a name, I'm gonna paint it in gold gold lettering here, and also haven't had it inspected by Wildlife and Fisheries. So when Wildlife and Fisheries comes out, I'll paint the numbers in gold lettering. But anyway, there she is. New toy. All hand built. All built in my garage right there.
right, this is the inaugural run. Brought it out here to the spillway. First time I had it running in the water. And uh, so far, so good. It's really fun. <laughs> it's a blast. So, let's see what she's gonna do. that little motor that is fun got a little wet like I need to put splash rails on it badly <laughs> I got soaking wet god it purrs it purrs it purrs it purrs totally pleased with it We have a winner.